What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gavin IC back with another video. As you guys can see from the thumbnail and the title, today's video is a Q&A. Now, bro, I haven't done a Q&A in low-key a while. Like, I think if I had a guess, I would say like four months maybe. So, yeah, we got another one for you guys. I've been asking you guys to spam Q&A questions under my Instagram, under my Snapchat, and also under my community tab on um, YouTube. I even asked you guys to spam questions under my YouTube videos. If you guys watched fully through my YouTube videos, you guys would know where I ask you guys and which videos I ask you guys to leave comments on or leave uh, questions on. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, I just hit 20,000 subscribers. Like, this is insane, bro. I'm growing so quick. It's honestly, like, crazy. It's so unreal. I don't even know what to say. I have, like, no words. I just keep thanking you guys. Like, thank you guys so much. I'm on my sub count right now, and look what I'm at. I'm at 20,700 subscribers right now. Oh, it's so unreal. Thank you guys so much. Push that uh, thumbs up button, please. Y'all just like this video so this video could also go on the recommended page like every other video that have been doing really good. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram right here at Gavin underscore IC. It's the same as my Snapchat too. So go add me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. Get me to 10,000 followers on Instagram. Please, please, please. But yeah, y'all, I don't want to talk a whole bunch. Let me just get right into the video, get into this Q&A. You guys have been really, really, really been asking questions, and you guys are trying to get to know me a little bit more. So I'm going to answer you guys' questions. Right, let's get it right into it. Um, all right, well, I'm going to start from my community tab on YouTube. I'm going to start with those questions first. So to begin with the first question, it says, what advice would you give someone that wants to start YouTube? Okay, let me just start with this, bro. If you guys aren't passionate about YouTube and you just want to start because you see other people doing YouTube and you think you're going to blow up or this or that, don't do YouTube. Like I'm being so for real, don't do YouTube, bro. Because I have friends that aren't passionate about YouTube and they just see other people doing YouTube so they want to do YouTube. They start YouTube, they post one video or they just film a video and they don't even edit it or they don't even post it. And if they do post that video, that's the only video they post and they just forget about their channel. Like, bro, if you want to do YouTube, you have to be passionate about this. I've been doing YouTube for seven years, since 2017. Like, bro, I've been doing YouTube for years and years and years. You guys don't think I quit once? Yes, I have quit a few times, but not completely quit. I quit for like a few months, a month, and that's it. I get right back to it because I'm passionate about this. Like, this is what I want. So if you are not passionate about YouTube, do not do YouTube. That's my advice, honestly. And also, if you are passionate about YouTube, bro, you need to consistently upload, okay? People kept telling me that I need to consistently upload, and I was just like, okay, like every one... Every week I upload one video, that's consistent. No, it's not, bro. Uploading one video every seven days, that is not consistent enough. You need to upload every three days, every two days, every other day, every day. Like, that's how YouTube should be. That's how consistent you should be. If you want to grow your channel, be consistent. That's my biggest advice to creators is be consistent. I was uploading YouTube videos once a week just like a few months ago, bro. And they were getting like, what a hundred views if that a day in 24 hours then i started uploading one video every three days and then i started gaining like 150 views in one day then i started uploading every other day and i started getting around like 200 250 views now i'm uploading every single day bro i've been uploading every single day since i hit 10,000 subs i think or before then no way be yeah before then actually probably like around yeah, like four, 5K actually subs. I started uploading every single day, bro, and now look where my channel is. I'm at 20,000 subscribers. My most viewed video is at 1.5 million. I have another vlog 
that's going up on the charts right now. It's almost at 100k views. It's at like 80 something k views. Like, bro, that just shows you guys that uploading every single day really helps your channel and you really get into the algorithm. So if you want to start YouTube, I say be passionate and be consistent and don't give up. You guys don't think like my mental is like going crazy right now. Like, bro, I'm stressed out every single day, but I'm still doing this because this is what I want. I know I want this and I got to strive for what I want. You feel me? If I just let my mental get in the way and I just stop uploading videos, stop filming videos, stop editing, you think I'm going to be anywhere? No, I need to consistently upload. So I understand that everyone has mental health issues and everything like this. But bro, you got to face that. You got to be strong. You got to really like like tell yourself i got this i got this i'm not stressed out like i'm gonna go up i got this you guys just gotta manifest bro you guys gotta be consistent that's what i gotta say for that first question well i did not think i was gonna speak that much on that question but yeah it's like you just need to be consistent bro be passionate about what you want to do the second question what motivated you to do youtube so what motivated me to do YouTube is I had a YouTube homie back in the day. He's still my homie to this day, Dylan Flex. Shout out to Dylan Flex. He had a sneaker store and it was called Capital at Town Square in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I would literally be there from when they open to when they close. That would be my hangout spot. Like after school, I would go there. Weekends, I would be there from opening to closing, like I just said. And I don't know, bro, he used to do YouTube and he had a homie, uh, Blake Wynn, shout out to Blake Wynn. He had that homie, Blake Wynn, that did YouTube and he's super big in YouTube. And then Dylan was big in YouTube, still is. And then I was like, Dylan, I look, you want to start YouTube. So then I told him about it and he was like, bro, start YouTube. You could just come in my shop, obviously, since you're always here and just film the sneakers, do shoe reviews, uh, be like a hype beast. You feel me? So I just started doing that, listened to his advice, and bro, it worked out, I'm not gonna lie. I was doing sneaker reviews, I was showing off his shop, and I was getting good views. I'm, like, I think I got my first K views when I was doing that stuff. Then, I was like, I don't wanna do this anymore. It got boring, cause I was just spending money just to make videos, and I wasn't getting paid from the videos. So I stopped doing that, and then I started to just like vlog my days. After that, the views weren't really doing good, so I stopped doing that. Then, I ninth grade came up, and I was just like, bro, I need to do something. I don't want to work a 9 to 5. I don't want to work for anybody. I want to just be my own boss. Like, I don't know, bro. I just want to be my own boss, but, like, in a different way. You feel me? Like, I don't want to control other people. I don't want to have employees or nothing. I just want to be my own boss and my own little thing and this is my own little thing my youtube channel just uploading videos for you guys so that's what really motivated me is just like bro do i really want to work a nine to five or do i want to be in a trade go to college this i'm going to college right now but like go to college for eight years um be in a trade work in a nine to five no i don't so i need to try for you guys and that's why i'm doing youtube that's what motivates me is to not work a nine to five now for my third question is, what is your main goal in life? Well, I, basically what I just said, my main goal in life is to not work a nine to five. I do not want to work a nine to five whatsoever. There's nothing bad about working a nine to five, but bro, I cannot stand people telling me what to do. I just can't. For some reason, it just gets me irritated and I get super annoyed. I cannot stand people telling me what to do, especially people that are younger than me that are higher up because I just started working that, in that in that little um in that place you feel me like bro no uh-uh uh-uh i cannot stand people telling me what to do so yeah my main goal in life is to go up on youtube and to not work a nine to five uh and my main goal is to move my grandma in with me and my brother's in the other room but spoil my brother no cap so yeah those are my main goals in life. Um, what's three things you want to accomplish before the year is over? Bro, that's actually funny that this person asked that because y'all want, bro, my three goals 
for this year, 2024, was to gain 20,000, not gain, to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year 2024 and to upload 120 videos in the year 2024. Now, y'all, I have to create new goals, bro. Like, I already achieved all those goals. So, yeah. Uh, my goals right now, though, since I've already obviously achieved those goals, is a hundred thousand subscribers before the year 2024 is over i need that hundred thousand subscriber plaque bro i need it and the reason why i keep looking right here is because i already know where i'm gonna hang my plaque i need that 100k special plaque no cap i need that in my room i need to wake up and just look at it every single day so 100k subscribers and um and yeah, just really 100k subscribers, bro. That's my main, main, main goal for the end of this year. I'm not even going to lie. And obviously, stack my bread up. You feel me? I already have my savings account, so keep putting money into my savings account and keep stacking that up. Um, That's not really a goal, but you feel me? That's, yeah. <laughs> um, All right. For the fifth question, how many X's do you have? Wow. So, my first real, real, real relationship, it lasted about like, I think seven months, six months. That was in ninth grade. And the reason why I call that like a real relationship is because that's when I lost my virginity. It was eighth grade, eighth, ninth grade. I forgot. Ninth grade, I think. Yeah. I lost my virginity. So yeah, that was um, obviously a real relationship. You feel me? Uh, yeah. So I keep saying, uh, yeah, I need to stop that. Okay. So yeah. Uh, that was one X, and then I had another X um, in, what, 10th grade, maybe? No. Yeah, 10th grade. 10th grade, I'd say. Like, yeah, yeah, 10th grade. And now I'm in a relationship. So I only had two Xs, real, real relationships. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Do you plan on moving out on your own? So if you guys don't know, I do live in my parents' crib, but I'm only 19 years old, y'all. Yeah? I'm 19 years old. I feel like you guys think I'm older than what I am. I'm only 19 years old. Do I plan on moving out on my own? Yes. 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 Yes, I do. <laughs> well, I could really move out right now, y'all. Like, I have this other place that my dad was like, you could go move into if you want to. But I like staying in home, staying at home. You feel me? I feel like I'm going to get homesick if I move out super quick. But I don't know. I like seeing my parents every day. You feel me? A lot of people, they can't wait to move out. Honestly, I'm cool with staying at my crib. Like, I love my house. I love my parents. I have a really good connection with my parents, a good connection with my brother, everything. So, honestly, I'm not in a rush to move out. But yes, I do plan on moving out probably in the next few years. I'm not going to lie because how YouTube is going right now, it seems like you guys are going to be able to move me out. Like you guys understood what I just said. You guys are going to be able to move me out because you guys are the ones watching my videos. You guys are the ones liking my videos. That's what gets my, pa my page, my videos on the recommended page. That's what gets me money too. You feel me? So yes. I honestly do plan on moving out in the next few years if this YouTube stuff really, really, really does go well. Um, let's see. Next question. Do you work any other jobs outside of YouTube? So I haven't addressed this yet, but yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do work a nine to five right now. I'm not going to tell you guys where, but I just started working a nine to five and the only, only only reason why I work this nine to five job too, y'all. Let me tell you guys why. It's for you guys, bro. I'm working this nine to five job just to pay for this camera that I'm filming on right now for you guys. I have the money already to buy this camera, but I don't want to take that money out of my savings account just to buy this camera. You feel me? So yes, I do work a nine to five job. And the only reason again is to just pay this camera off. That's the only reason. So yeah, it's not like because I need the money or I need this. I like no, it's just for this camera. Um, do I plan on staying to the staying at this nine to five job? No, hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. I'll probably be leaving already in a few months or in a month. Like I don't know, like probably in a week. <laughs> like I don't know. I'm already planning to to leave this freaking job because I don't like it. But anyway, uh, da, 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 da. do you want kids? And if so, how many? Bro, yes, I do want kids. I want two kids. I want a son and I want a daughter. But I want my boy to be 
born first and my daughter to be born second so the boy could be older and he could look out for his sister because bro i'll go to prison <laughs> over my daughter i'll go to prison you feel me so like i need a son so he could stick up for his sister i would be like hey you better go handle that year so yes i need a son and i need a daughter but i need the son first obviously i can't say what's gonna come first but yes i want a son first no cap and i'll only have kids if one i have my own home Two, I'm obviously wealthy enough, but I will be if I have my own crib and you feel me? So if I'm wealthy, if I have my own home, I have at least two cars, one car for my girl, my baby mama, one car for me and another car for me. So really three cars in total because I need two cars to myself, a, a big body truck and a regular car, an everyday car. And then, yeah, I just need to be wealthy for real. So yes, I do plan on having two kids. Um... How did you and Stella meet? So as you guys all know, if you guys are new to this channel, my girlfriend is Stella and she's like in every single vlog of mine. I do a lot of pranks on her. If you guys haven't, make sure you guys go watch those pranks and challenges that I do on Stella because bro, she be getting furious. She gets mad as hell and she just starts hitting. But y'all, before y'all think she just be hitting me every day, no, she's we're not an abusive couple, bro. We don't be putting our hands on each other. Like, she does not put her hands on me whatsoever. Like, she does it because, bro, why is she doing it? I'm pranking her, bro. I'm telling her something that's obviously upsetting her. She's gonna hit me, bro. You feel me? Like, bro, none of these pranks I do or challenges I do on this channel are fake. Everything is real on this channel. Everything is genuine. So she's gonna hit me, bro. It's not like I told her about the prank before. Like, all the cameras are hidden. Or if it's not hidden, I'm just, like, vlogging. So she thinks I'm vlogging and I'm actually being for real. Because, bro, I'm like an actor, fool. Like, I could really, really put on a, you feel me, a straight face and be, like, real. Like, be serious. So, no, we're not abusive with each other. We don't put hands on each other or nothing, bro. But these pranks are real. So she's obviously gonna be furious, getting mad at me. And she's gonna hit me once in a while, yeah, dig? But how me and Stella met, um, we met in high school. So I transferred to this one high school in 11th grade, and she was there. I would always see her in um, lunch. And before I saw her at that school, before I transferred to that school and I saw her, I went to a party bus before. And I saw her on that party bus, and I was like to one of the old homies, I was like, bro, who is that walking right there? And they were like, you feel me? They told me who it was. And I was like, damn, she fine as hell, bro. And then, bro, a few months later, I transferred to her school and she's in the same lunch as me. So in my high school, there was two different lunches that started at two different times. And I was in the same lunch with her. So I saw her every single day, bro. And we just started chopping it up or whatever. We just became closer and closer and closer every single day. And then when we started walking the halls, she like started getting a little flirty, bro. And she one day she put her arm like in my arm, like right here while we were walking. And like, I was like, what the hell are you feel me? Like she was giving me hints. And I was just like, all right, all right. I'm, you feel me? I'm not stupid. So then... I FaceTimed her and she never FaceTimes people, never. And I FaceTimed her and she answered. And then we just started chopping it up on the phone. Then we started sleeping on the phone. And yeah, you guys already know what happens after that. You feel me? So yeah, that's how we met is in high school. And we're still together. We're going to be high school sweethearts, no count. <laughs> and yeah, we're just going to last, no count. How long does it take for you to edit videos? Ooh, that it depends really it really depends usually like average it takes about maybe an hour to two no and dang you know average i would say about an hour and a half hour and a half on every video and if it's a video like this video then probably like an hour and if it's a video like one of the pranks or something like maybe two hours an hour and a half hour 45 minutes Nowhere more than like two hours. No more than two hours for it real. Now, going on to my Instagram questions. Let's see what I got. Let's see. 
What's your dream goal you want to accomplish in life? So I already answered a question like this in the beginning. What was my goal at the end of the year? So this one, what's your dream goal you want to accomplish in life? One, to have my YouTube really, really go up. Like I'm talking about more than a million subscribers and more than freaking 500k views on each video. Like that's a huge goal for me in life. Um, obviously get married, have a family have my dream cars, which is two different cars, a big body truck, like I just said, in a regular daily car. I want both of my dream cars. This is my goals that I want to accomplish in life, yo. So get married, have a family, um, 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 have the cars, like I just said. And yeah, bro, just have a good life for real. Like, that's what I want to accomplish in life. Like, be wealthy, have a really good life. What is your drive behind doing social media? Not working a nine to five. Like that's all I got to think about is do I really want to wake up or do I really want to go in at this time and listen to somebody being my boss telling me what to do? Hell nah. So that's all I think about. Do I want to work a nine to five? Hell nah. <laughs> so I want to pick up this camera and start recording for you guys. No cap. And another thing is that what I just said is I want to be able to go to sleep at whatever time, three in the morning, two in the morning, six in the morning, go to sleep at whatever time I like to and wake up at whatever time I want to wake up at. I don't care if you guys think that's lazy or not, but as my own boss, I'll be able to wake up and go to sleep whenever the hell I feel like it. And that's what I want to be able to do, bro. That's my drive. Uh, when will merch come out? Honestly, y'all, uh, I don't know. But I have a clothing brand. If you guys don't know, I have a clothing brand. I have an Instagram account for the clothing brand too. It is human access underscore clothing. So go follow that if you guys haven't already. The shirts are like 30 bucks, bro. The hoodies are 50 bucks. So yeah, but when will merch come out? Like Gavin Icy YouTube merch? That I'm, I honestly can't answer because I don't know. Right now, I'm just focused on my brand and making my brand better. So... Yeah, go follow the brand. If you guys want to have some Gavin IC merch, comment down below and I might have to drop some Gavin IC merch. Comment down below whether you guys want it or wait, let me say this correctly, y'all. Hold on. This is not getting cut out either. <laughs> you guys see how I really talk. Like, I really got to think before I talk. Hold on. If you guys really want merch and you guys are actually going to buy merch from me, comment down below right now. I need like 30 yeses. <laughs> um... Will you ever collab with smaller creators? I'm actually happy that someone asked me this. Obviously, I yes, I'll collab with anybody, but I won't go out of my way to collab with people. Sorry, I just spit. I won't go out of my way to collab with people, bro. So, we're, like, the collabs have to be genuine, bro. Like, if we're just hanging with each other, okay, cool. Like, just pull out your camera, let's start recording, you feel me? But... I'm not going to set up a date and time just to go meet up with you and start filming. Like, no, bro. A collab has to be genuine, has to be real. We just got to be hanging out or something or, you yeah, feel me? Just vlogging and if we run into each other, film each other or something like that. Like, that's how collabs work to me. If you go out of your way to collab with somebody, it's not going to be genuine and it's not going to be like, oh, that collab. Like, it's not going to be like a really, really good ass video. But... Yeah, I will collab with anybody. I don't care. I'm not one of these YouTubers, one of these celebrities, one of these people that are like, I'm too good for you. Like, hell no, nah, bro. I was just telling my girl and my homie yesterday that once I'm really, really, really up on YouTube and really, really, really up on Instagram and Snapchat and all my social medias, bro, I want to shout people out. Like, first person to comment, I want to shout your Instagram out. I want to shout this out on videos or on Instagram or on Snapchat. Like, I want to sh shout smaller creators out because I know how hard it was for me to come up off this YouTube shit. You feel me? So, um, no, I won't collab with, or yes, I will collab with smaller creators, but it just has to be genuine. It can't just be forced. Uh, da, 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 da. What is on your bucket list? My bucket list? Uh, just to go up on YouTube. Like, for real, for real. To go up on YouTube, to buy more jewelry, and da, 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 to buy a crib and my car, that's it. I always said when I was like, since I was like six years old, bro, I've been saying that I'm going to buy the latest version Corvette by 21 years old. And I could acquire that right now at 19 years old if I wanted to, for real, for real. So, honestly, y'all, 
that's on my bucket list still, low key. I don't know. For my 21st birthday, I might go Corvette. I'm not even gonna lie. You guys gotta wait another two, well, really a year and a half because my birthday's October 26th. So, yeah, you guys gotta wait a year and a half and see if I get that Corvette on my 21st birthday. But I honestly think I will. It's either that or a Tesla because I've been wanting a Tesla and I just wanna charge it instead of using gas. I freaking hate gas. So, yeah, it's either a Corvette or Tesla, but I don't know, bro. I might be going Corvette route. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, how do you like to spend your free time? How do I like to spend my free time? I like to go shooting if I got the money for it because, bro, ammo is expensive, man. It's just going up. Ammo is a lot of money. So I love to go shooting. Um, I love filming videos. Like, this, these videos are not forced. I love filming videos for you guys. It's honestly super fun. I like to go bowling. Bowling is super fun. Jet skiing. But that's not like my free time I get every time. You feel me? But yeah, I would say bowling and mainly bowling. That's what I would say. Mainly bowling. I love bowling. I want to buy my own bowling ball. I need to because I go bowling a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. What do you wish you did more of? I'm not going to lie, bro. I wish I did more of posting YouTube videos like a year ago. If I was doing what I'm doing now a year ago, I would probably have 100k subscribers already. You feel me? So, yeah, I wish I was posting consistently like I am now a year ago. What's your biggest turn-ons? Dang, you guys are getting a little freaky now, huh? So, my biggest turn-on is when a girl acts right, bro, and listens. No cap. I can't stand a girl that's petty and stuck up. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, that's for real. Like, if you're a petty-ass female and you're stuck up and you think you're the man of the relationship, you need to pipe down. You need to calm down. No cap. That's a turn off. A turn on what is what I just said. A girl that listens, a girl that's really she knows her she knows her her uh what's that called? She knows her morals, she knows her value of herself, like she knows her, you feel me? And that mm but like freaky turn on, let me let me get a little freaky. Freaky turn on I don't know, bro, I'm a freak, you feel me? I get turned on with anything. Like put your leg on me and I'm turned on. <laughs> Like, I don't know, bro. I'm just a freak, so I don't know. Um, Have you ever thrown up at a party or party bus? No. I never. Th I would never throw up in front of people, period. Like, I would never throw up at, in a party bus or at a party. Uh-uh. I would. Yeah, I'm not even going to say that on camera, but yeah, I would never throw up in front of people. If I throw up, bro, it's going to be like when I'm at my crib. Like, you feel me? Like, I could hold that mug in, no cap. Have you ever thrown a party or party bus? Hell yeah, bro. I used to be the main host in Las Vegas throwing these parties, throwing these party buses. That's how a lot of people know me in Las Vegas is from throwing these party buses. I had the best party buses. I had the best parties in Vegas, bro. Hands down. But no, yeah, party buses. I've thrown so many party buses, bro. It's it's insane. That's where I like, yeah. <laughs> bro, I had a freaking party bus video that was at 665,000 views or 680,000 views on YouTube and YouTube took it down because it was too lit. You feel me? Like, bro, I have bitch. You feel me? Like, it was just crazy, bro. But yeah, I have thrown hella party buses. I had a crazy video on YouTube with one of my party buses I've thrown, but it got deleted like I just said. But it's good because now we got that 1.5 million video. Uh, let me see if I got any other questions. I think that's it with the questions, but let me just double check. Yeah, that's it with the questions. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe, bro. Support is free. If you guys really want to support me, you feel me? By the like button, there is that little thanks button. You could donate me some money, you feel me? So if you guys are real, real, real supporters, go hit that thanks button too and send your boy like 10 bucks, no cap. <laughs> or whatever you guys would love to do. But anyway, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, commenting, and watching this video fully through. If you guys did watch this video fully through till right now, Comment down icy. That's all you gotta comment down is I C I C Y. Just comment down I C and I will know that you guys watched till this far, till the end of this video. 
But yeah, drop down video ideas, challenges you guys want to see, you guys want to watch, that you guys will hit that thumbs up button on, and I'll film them for you guys. But other than that, like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Gavin Icy. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day or night whenever you guys are watching. Again, it's Gavin Icy, and I'm out. Peace.